soon. Yo, here it goes. So I hope you can see this screen. So this is the process of creating a cookbook. You create the cookbook. The process is you st start writing the recipes, right? Then if you are using the templates, then you start add the template and in the template, obviously you should be adding the attributes and attributes. Then you will be updating your metadata, the information about your uh, chef cookbook. Then the last step will be testing and uploading. So this is the process of creating the chef cookbooks. So a small flowchart kind of stuff. So I'm just minimizing this and let's uh, make our focus on the machines. Yeah. So that's it. So this is my workstation. I hope you can see it. This is my workstation. Just for the sake of connectivity, I'm just checking whether I'm able to communicate with all the machines or not. It seems fine to me. So let's create a cookbook here. So the command will be very easy. Knife cookbook create, right? Knife cookbook create. And before giving this command knife cookbook create, let me check how many cookbooks are available currently on my server. So I can give the command knife cookbook list. This will show me the current cookbook so that I will not uh, do a duplicate uh, cookbook name. So I'm going to create a cookbook with the name of Apache here. I have got multi Apache right here 10.1.0. So let me give this knife cookbook create Apache. So as soon as you give this command, the contents will be, <coughs> I'm sorry, it will be going under where chef cookbook, the message is right in front of your screen. So I, give, I move inside where chef cookbooks. So here you will find a directory with the name of Apache. They, here it contains the template. So the first thing that I need to do, I need to create my recipe, the default recipe. So this will be, I'm going to create it under the recipes folder and just modify this file default.rb, right? So it's always recommended to customize it. Uh, say your company name, I'll give network nuts. Feel free to give your company name. And okay, I'm first I'll start with installing the package because the package need to be there on the chef node, the Apache package. So I say httpd do right so action will be obviously inst installed though it's it's not required the default action of the chef package resource type is installed so if i just close it and just open it once once again i'm sorry yeah so the package will be installed right now what once the package is installed you need to send some html files right so we know that uh, the default document root for the apache is where www.html so here I'll be using a cookbook file resource. So I give a cookbook underscore file and the location where www.html index.html is the main file. So I'm not going to change that thing, right? Source index.html. So I need to create this files under the files folder in my chef recipe, sorry, chef cookbook. And, and now, once the file is being transferred to the machine, obviously I need to start the service. So I just do a do and action will obviously be start. Action will be as a start. And then I will also recommend if you do a enable. Enable means it should be available across the reboots like check config kind of thing. So this is it. I save and come out from here. Now inside the recipes. I hope you can see the files folder there inside files. I have a default folder. I need to create a file here. Say index.html. I'm not very good in HTML, so, but I'll just do some small things. Uh, say HTML title. Say welcome to chef training by network nuts. Yeah. The winters have started in Delhi. Brace yourself winter is coming yeah okay so i just do a simple thing welcome to chef that's it so this is the file that i want to give so the file is there right now before i upload it on the chef server it's always recommended to check it for any syntax error or things like that 
knife cookbook test Apache seems good to me yeah that's great now upload it knife cookbook upload Apache uploading you can see it here so if I again give the command knife cookbook list it should show me my cookbook Apache that's great here it is coming up right here but the cookbook is not added in the run list of the node so now the last step that you need to do is that you need to add that cookbook which is available on the server into the run list of the node so that this cookbook should be applied on this node so I can do it graphically also that I had shown it in my previous uh, videos I'm not going to do it the same method let's try to add it using the CLI tool right so knife node run list it's a very simple command add the name of the machine chef node.example.com in my case and the name of the cookbook Apache yeah perfect I hope you can see this this is coming up here so if I go to the chef client now and run the chef client command so it should be able to show me the web server running and the particular HTML page should appear so I'm moving on to the node here is, here is the node so if I I just need to run chef client here that's it and brace yourself yeah I hope the things are right hmm seems good to me perfect so if I open the browser here uh, uh, something the mouse stop working because of so many VMs running up here so it starts acting in a wicked manner or a weird manner uh, thankfully it started running so if I give a HTTP slash slash chef node dot example dot com that's great welcome to chef training by network nerds welcome to chef so you have just created a small chef cookbook which is configuring the Apache using some uh, on the remote machine or the chef node now let's change it here let's do it some dynamic things let's use template let's use template attribute suppose I'm just giving you a very simple example I intend to run Apache on port number 81 not 80 which is the default port how to change it using the template right okay now let's move again to the workstation here is it okay I go once again inside the recipes folder open the default dot RB once again and here I write a template template say http.conf anything so this is the title http.conf do where this conf file will go I hope you all know that the default location for the http conf file is etc http conf http.conf so I give etc http conf http.conf that's perfect and where it should be getting the template the source I give http.conf.erb just make sure that the extension should be erb right ruby embedded ruby so I now need to create this file inside the templates folder right so, th so this is the only thing that I added and I just for the sake of uh, knowledge I'm uh, to check whether everything is working properly or not I'm also going to change something in the index.html so let's do f f the changes in index.html first so I go to files default and I just write one more uh, heading here that's it that will do my job h2 sorry 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 uh, using templates and attributes perfect right save and come out now I need that file the template file so if you can see there there's a templates folder I move inside the templates default so here I am so I copy my etc http conf http dot conf to the current location so that I need not to write the complete file again I'm very lazy in those things okay now I just before I added this I need to create a 
file right i i need to create the attribute files where it's it's going to take the attributes so before i move into this if you see there there's an attributes folder also so now i should be digging inside the attributes folder and i create a file here say any name i give it default.rb and just write the attribute here so this is the default attribute the name of my cookbook apache and it's a i'm going to change the port so i make it listen right and the port number whatever port number you want to specify so i just created a default attribute the name of the cookbook and the name of the attribute name so the, this is default apache my cookbook name and port number 81 that's great so i need to remember this now i will be going under the templates so i move inside my templates default here i copied the file i open the shirby.conf file if you remember this is the same file i copied search for the word listen so i just comment this out and here i'm writing my own and this is a ruby code so what what i'm going to do i'm i'm going to see it's a node specific my apache and the value is listen right so means this is going to take the value it's an attribute this is going to take the value 81 from my files which i have just created in the attributes folder right okay so let's move out so and one more thing once the conf file is changed so what you need you need to restart the service so that the things will be applied right so i also need to do slight change in my recipes default.rb here instead of start i will prefer a restart right so that the service will be restarted once once this file because i had modified index.html also and i have introduced this http.conf.erb i just need to rename this if you remember i hadn't renamed this still so i move here just rename it to conf.erb this is mandatory right so i've got a http.conf.erb and uh, let's start let's see if the things are working or not so what next knife cookbook test what else knife cookbook test apache perfect okay i also need to change the metadata.rb because i had uh, done some changes in uh, my cookbook so where is the metadata.rb this is a file here inside your recipes your cookbook folder so change the metadata.rb i'm just doing a version change here not much say 1.1 right so test it once again perfect upload it knife cookbook upload apache perfect add it in the run list knife node run list add chef node dot example dot com apache perfect now if i go to the node once again so let me have the honor of taking you to the node <laughs> okay keep on smiling keep on smiling this is mandatory this is very important keep on smiling right so I just close this right now and if I just do a chef client run once again it should show you that the service is restarted uh, it should show you oh it's fail look permission denied it cannot run on port number 81 because of the se linux let me check yeah so what i do i just do a set in force permissive and let me try it once again otherwise I, I need to do a lot of things then perfect sometime i think smart i think huh? see here restarted stdbd so if I open the browser once again, it should show me and I point myself to HTTP chef colon 81. 
it's working welcome to chef using templates and attribute this is uh, interesting right so you can keep on adding more attributes in your http.com file or any other server file that you are planning to have some dynamic things uh, one last thing in this video you might be wondering when I upload the cookbook on the server where it actually goes inside the server this is very interesting so let me have the honor of taking you to the chef server so this is the chef server keep on smiling keep on smiling this is important <laughs> smile yeah like this yeah same like like this i like it so when you upload the rest the cookbook on the servers it actually goes inside where opt folder this is the location where, where it goes so if I, I go to where opt chef server th this is the location and inside this you will see a bookshelf bookshelf is the service which is responsible for storing all the cookbooks everything so inside this move to data and bookshelf so here you can see a lot of files here now it's very difficult to check where is my cookbook oh my god <laughs> I cannot uh, see all these things I, I I cannot browse in each and every folder what to do what to do now oh, simple crap just remember any keyword which was there in your cookbook uh, say erb. I can use the grab I have learned it in my RSC days right so I'd say http.conf.erp and just enter here this is my hash the checksum and this is the location so I copy this I'll show you this if I do a copy here and do a cat paste it this is it this is your cookbook so now you know when you upload it on the chef server where, where it goes is it goes inside the bookshelf and the location is where opt opt chef hyphen server this is it in this video so i hope you you like this new way of interacting with me i don't know whether you like my face or not but i'll just show you that i got uh i think uh, just ignore me right so thank you for watching this thank you for coming back Keep learning, keep smiling. Yes, that is important. Keep smiling. See you again. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless. I'm stopping the video now.